Hello and welcome back to the channel. In the last episode, if you remember, we were short of a few components. So I went back when I wasn't recording and I got the inverted bio lizard scales from Rebellion Ruins. They took me a long time, I can tell you. I got the fly needles from uh, the gathering caves and I ended up getting the timber from uh, Dilmore, which uh, the spot I showed you. So, in today's episode, we are going to continue with the main story and we're going to complete a couple of guild tasks along the way. So, let's get on with it. So let's head to the castle and see what David requires of us. That is all, Lord David. I pray for your success. You're here. Who is that? Uh, uh, yes, a messenger from Celepolay, uh, sent by the Duke of Kubite. He wanted to warn us about some unidentified troops invading Blackdale. He believes they're troops from the Duke of Gore. We are to look into it immediately. But I thought Blackdale belonged to Athlum. Why is this guy butting into your business? It was merely a request, not an order. And although we are allies, Athlum is actually under the control of Sela Pule. We have little say. Huh. So what do you need me for? You will be joining us in our investigation. Why is that? Pagas? Yes. <clears throat> According to the report, the troops from Gore that entered Blackdale were led by a mage dressed in white. Not only that, but they were accompanied by a flying remnant. That sounds like someone we know. Like those guys we saw at Dilmore. We must make haste. Prepare for departure at once. Wait, you're going? Aren't you too important for this? I was requested to go as well. And if nothing else, it should satisfy my curiosity. We are leaving for Blackdale immediately. Is that clear? Yes, yes my lord. lord. So we get David and Torgal's squad to join us, but they are guest unions. And if you remember, I mentioned it in the last video, that guest unions, we have no control over. So in this particular uh, section, we have no control over any, either David's squad or Torgal's. Just our own. Your name and intentions. If you fail 
to comply, we shall have no choice but to use deadly force. I shall give you only one chance. Surrender now. What are you doing? The scolding isn't going to stop guys like that. I guess that means no. So be it. We shall make them rue the day they stepped into Athlum. All men, charge! So what we are hoping for in this battle is that Jaeger, he's the one with the question mark, Jaeger is the third union to be defeated. Because after the third union gets defeated, they get reinforced. And if Jaeger's off the battlefield, David will sometimes use the gay bog and clear it altogether. Make it a lot easier for us. So let's see if we get that outcome. Sometimes we do, and we sometimes we don't. Here. I'm not going to lie to you. Weakling. Nicely done. Keep your fight. Strike at their flank. So that's the second Union destroyed. So, provided we can get Jaeger dead next, yeah, things could work chance. out perfectly. Here. Oh, Tor got intercepted. Oh well, it happens sometimes, it happens. Oh well, we didn't get the ideal outcome we wanted. Nothing to do but fight now, is there? Say ah! Nice one, Rush, nice one. Oh. They've gone and healed him. That's fine.
strong. We got a combat halberd. That's a good one. And some healing herbs and gold. Much needed. Even though we didn't get the outcome we wanted. But it happened. Damn it. After him. So, in this section of Blackdale, we want eight spiders, that is a, a guild task unto itself. We want skull scavenger craniums, and we want three of those. That's so we can uh, start creating the berserker act, axe, rather. And we need a battle chain of 50, which is also a guild task. So, let's push on. Let's do this! Brilliant, yeah! Eight spiders, not giant spiders. Come on, let's kick some A! They'd be made of sterner stuff. I know I'm good. That should give us the eight spiders we need. The winner's the one who strikes first, Because even though yeah? it says giant spider group, there could be actually just spiders, normal spiders mixed in with them. You never know, but this should give us Come the on, eight we need. let's kick some A. Huh. 
Tis just a wisp of a thing. And we get the skull scavenger craniums from these here. Let's do this! I doubt we'll get it, but we will try. We have to capture it and then split it. It is a rare component. So the chances of, of us getting it first time are slim. Come on, let's kick some A. <laughs> nice! Attack them from their flank! Piece of cake! I know I'm good! And we didn't get it. I didn't think we would. But we do have other opportunities. I don't know why I'm looking there. We know there's nothing there. Don't get this treasure chest. Remember, this too is a girl task. Are we going to get a soul scavenger cranium on this one? Doubtful, to say the least. I don't hold out my hopes. I really don't. Come on, let's kick some A. But I shall come back in when I'm not recording and get them. Remember, we want three of them. Attack them from their flank! Not bad! Thought they'd be made of sterner stuff. Sweet! Nope. Third time's a charm, they say. Brilliant, yeah! Come on, let's kick some A. <laughs> Attack them from their flank! They'd be made of sterner stuff. I know I'm good. Told you they were difficult to get. It is a rare component, and you have to capture them first and then hope that when you split them, the, the component is there. Let's just have a look up here. much needed healing items as you've probably gathered we are avoiding everything again there's nothing up that there but along here there is another treasure chest with the map give you the map right at the end and there's a morsel which will increase our digs to Seven. And that is on the ground. Come on out. Hmm? Awesome. Okay, later. Here we go. We have one final opportunity to get the skull cranium. Let's do this. So let's see if we can get them this time. Don't hold your breath. Let's kick some A. Stand 
stand your ground! Strike at their flank! Not a thing. Never mind. I shall do that when I'm not recording, like I say. Right, just through here, we have the boss fight, so I'm going to save it. This can be a bit tricky, because we're such a low level. Irina, you must bind this remnant to yourself. You must release its power. For that power will change the world. Why, it might even bring back the dead. You mean... We'd like to see your brother again, wouldn't we? Rush, they have a hostage. You must stay calm. But... Listen, these people are dangerous, and we don't know what they're capable of. Well, well, if it isn't the Marquis of Athlon. You know of me? How fortunate. Your acts of aggression have not gone unnoticed. We know how you manipulated both the rubber soul and the ski of owner. And let's not forget the kidnapping. Your actions are in violation of congressional decree. And for this, you will be punished. Both of us are men of reason, Marquis. A man of your stature surely realizes the... impracticality of certain laws. But I understand. We shall withdraw, if that is your wish. We shan't dare do anything to put you out. Will that be all? No. You will release her and surrender immediately. Do you think we won't harm you just because you're the Marquis of Athlum? Your confidence implies you are not alone. Who is your ally? The Duke of Gore, perhaps? <laughs> By now, you must be aware of the Academy's response, or lack thereof. You? You're part of the Academy? <laughs> My dear Marquis, Irina is special. Her parents desperately wish for her to take part in our research. She has finally come to understand that. We merely got off on the wrong foot. Liar! You're full of it! Arena, I know you don't want to be here, but it's okay now. I'm here. It's me, Rush, your brother. It's a shame they do not share the same power. Marquis, would you be so kind as to babysit your brash young friend for the time being? Consider it a helping hand in our research. 
Rush, stand down. No, I'm gonna go save my sister. Marquis, I believe it would be in your best interest to stop your little friend. Otherwise, I fear your life may be in peril. I find your story hard to swallow. You will come with us to Aflam to confirm this with the Academy. You do not take my word as fact? Very well. Perhaps I shall convince you by force! Stay down this time. How you like that? Shabby. Oh! Well, we got our bottle chain of 50. this could be the end and it takes whatever to do as well so this could be game over oh we lost one but we survived that was a bit lucky there I could have done with being able to heal by to be honest.
Ooh, close. We survive another one. The most annoying thing about this Inferno insignia for me is it takes forever. You okay? Oh, we survived again. Uh, hang in there. Flat on us now. Yes. We got ya. We got ya. Sweet. Nice bit of gold, some healing stuff. Ah, yes, happy with that. Seems I've underestimated you. The hell? You can't kill him. He's the goddamn Marquis of Atlas. It makes no difference. He cannot unlock the true power of the remnants. He is merely fuel for their fire. Ancient magics bound to my call. Within the void envelop all. So, not only do you let this mysterious creature slip through your fingers, but you're also clueless as to its affiliation and its purpose? <sighs> A fine report this is! My word, is Athlum completely powerless over its own territory? <sighs> it seems the apple does fall far from the tree. I shall report this back to the Duke at once. Good day. The nerve of that guy. Someone ought to pound some manners into him. Come now, calm down. Why the false report to the Duke? Ah, you believe those men are connected to the Academy. You don't. The Academy conducts research in a number of fields. Rumors would indicate that includes forbidden experimentation with remnants. 
It is possible that our mage in white is connected. And the Academy holds tremendous influence across the world. Celepolet is no exception. You don't think the Duke of Kubine is involved in this? I don't know. But until I do, we're playing it safe. I don't want Kubai knowing our strategy just yet. Understood. But do take care not to overplay your hand. If Athlum is lost, those machinations of yours will be for naught. That I know. Ah, oh, I thought he'd never let me go. Couldn't sleep? I... I couldn't save her. Damn it! Marina, I... What am I supposed to do now? Rush, you need to calm down. Irina is alive. How do you... After we left, a strange flying creature was seen leaving Blacktail. A girl was spotted as well. After comparing a few more reports, we are certain it was Arena. For real? I had Pargus confirm it personally. Without a doubt, your sister lives, Rush. What is it? Even if she's alive, I'm not strong enough to save her. Pull yourself together, Rush. You need to keep whatever strength you do have. <clears throat> if you won't save her, who will? You're right. I've got to find a way. As I said, I'll help you as much as I can. It's still far too early to give up hope. Dave, thanks. Yes, well... That Wagram character implied he was an Academy member. If that's true, it means this plot is much deeper than we imagined. You cannot face it alone. Moreover, Irina saved us. I owe her my life, and men of Athlum always repay their debts. Are you sure it's okay to just help us like that? Torgal's not gonna be happy. <laughs> Cleaning up my messes is his job. Has been since I was a baby. Oh man, that's gross. It certainly is gross. Once we learn where <clears throat> that flying creature is headed, I'll let you know. Okay, I'll keep an eye out too. Lord David, you still intend to look into this matter? Of course. As if I would allow such low fiends to sully Athlum. That mage. Find out who that Wagram really is, even if it means shaking up the Academy. Yes, my lord. So, I think that's a perfect opportunity in which to end this episode. It's been uh, quite successful. We completed uh, two guild tasks. We got the spiders and we got um, a battle chain of 50. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to get the skull scavenger craniums, but I shall do that when I'm not recording. And of course, we beat the fiery idol. So, if you've dropped by, thank you so much. It is appreciated. Hopefully, I will see you in the next one. And until then, thank you very, very much for watching.